gee, it's a little better. Although this Franken bush still needs to go. Um, real quick, I keep forgetting to mention on these YouTubes that I've actually got a Facebook and an Instagram. Uh, Facebook is uh, Strive to Be Roshi, R O S H I. Kind of like the Roshi from Dragon Ball Z, but no, I'm not an old tweaking bastard. I actually have to say these things. So if somebody like Daisy Radley will watch this video and go, Oh, so he's a 90 year old tweaker? No. Oh. <laughs> then there's uh, Ichiban's Tiger. That's my Instagram. And then Random Tiger Stuff. That's another Instagram I've been working on. The, just in case you've only ever been pulling your info about me from these. This isn't my garage. I got to stay in here for the last few days because there was this big old storm, tempest thing that was wrecking outside and I just I left out. Normally I'd have to sit through that kind of crap and just wrap up all of the stuff I want to keep dry and tarps and garbage bags and misery through it. Jeez. That's Jennifer Love Hewitt right here. When that woman decides to slap you, you have permanent bags in the old eyeballs. And I don't think I'm doing too bad. Seeing how it's Jennifer Love Hewitt and Natalie Portman turns out to be the ones doing all this crap to me. Not to single them out, it's a giant plethora of them. <sighs> you guys like the Backstreet Boys or any artist that doesn't, I wouldn't even call them artists. Or most of them are thieves in Hollywood and entertainment world. And I can see it, man. I can see it in the actions and the, just the script, this indescribable, despicable gremlin tackiness. Uh, that seems to ensue every celebrity before they show up and after they leave. It's like they've got a offensive and a defensive team of retarded gremlins to just wreck shit. And that's what Tom Holland can pretend. So I'm like more and more, it's all starting to dominoes in the place. A lot of the things I've been through over the last couple of years is because Tom Holland wanted to. He didn't care about the Spider Man. He didn't care about the persona or the mask or the code. All he cares about is that fifty million dollars in his back pocket and how many girls he gets to I would say sleep with, but let's face it, Tom Holland's into some pretty ugly evil shit, so Ugh. Dang it, I'm back. Uh see so yeah. My Facebook's actually the more interesting of all of them. That's where everybody's been Pulling from apparently. It's when I first started writing spells, I hit the rap world and the entertainment world like a fucking, excuse me, meteor hitting the earth. But I keep getting tickled to write a new one. And I don't know. It's just the last one I wrote was Zapper. That was in reply to Eminem's Nat. And I just I don't know why I'm gonna. Expenditure, expend, expediate, expenditure. I don't know why I'm going to spend energy in creating more art like that just to have a thousand gremlins in this stupid town all vying that they're the ones that did it. The problem isn't so much the fake Slim Shadies, it's what they're doing with it. It's like how many girls went got tortured to death in some stupid troll hole. All because nobody wanted to give me mine, my break, my earned. Even people that I know, people that are like, I want to say close to me, they'll do it. They'll rip off one of my spells for a hit of fucking heroin. And they don't care. They don't care that it takes fucking months and months and months for the people they fooled or tricked to get back on the right trail. And by then, it's too late. Girls like Taylor Swift are... They're gone. I don't know what was that had so much beforehand. That's I know that's really weird for me to say. I'm trying to figure out what there was about Taylor Swift other than the accumulated symmetry of my own, let's say, awakening. 
I'm guessing a lot of these girls, like Taylor Swift, they were just Agent Smiths. They were placed there for me to aim at and cock an eyebrow towards. And girls like her have been doing nothing but gutting me through my back ever since. So, <sighs> Excuse me, this is Radley if I'm a little leery, especially when you won't fucking say anything. Like, after everything you've been through trying to get a hold of me, for you to do that, and then just keep walking... It makes me wonder what you're guilty of, chick. Don't let that stop you next time. Next time, you might want to just have like a harpoon mentality. Get me into your fucking boat, then we'll do the dissection and questions. But that shit, don't do that anymore. Then you sit around moping and hating on me and all the stupid jackasses to your left and right won't. Stop with the hellacious backbiting. Finally got that word back. Well, this video is already too long. <laughs> um, so if you're new. I just want to see an end to this thing now. Thanks to girls like Natalie Portman, there's this freaking racetrack or racket going on, and I've just been dismissed. The real one, I've been dismissed by girls like Natalie Portman, so just like hop on the metaphors here. So girls like Daisy Ridley, like knowing it's me, but pass me by out of peer pressure. It's like what I see going on out there sometimes. That same feeling you got when you were in high school. And you started to wave to somebody and everybody around you just instantly started making fun of that person and so you slowly like put your hand down and started lying about the person and laughing oh yeah he's such an asshole thing <sighs> girls like jennifer love hewitt have been doing that to me a little too long now and then she like swoops around the back of the school and tries to like sneakily get me into her suv but she's I'm terrified of getting caught, and I have to feel and think of and see all of it at the same time. So it's, again, you know, it doesn't do you much good to be rolling up to me and waving a snotty rag that's on fire as you're, like, viciously making fun of me and humiliating me into your car. It's not what I asked for. <laughs> Offering girls, like, I keep... I don't know why I keep using her name all of a sudden. But, I don't know. It's like, if she's really that intimidated, hold up a plate of cheeseburgers. Or a bag of Reese Pieces or something. It gives me something to do while you bullshit my ear off for a few minutes and then we get in your car and drive off to somewhere. Details here minutes already uh there is no larger me i keep trying to put that out there it's like angelina jolie is one of the main runners of that one but even though everybody's staring at me they're still concentrating on my peripheral they're still waiting on some like 20 foot glowing demigod to come stomping out of the bushes and correct everybody but my question to Mrs. Jolie is, like, if that's what you're waiting on, what the fuck do you think he's going to do? He's going to walk right up to you and grab you by your little scrawny neck and go, yeah, that little guy over there that's been telling you the whole fucking time to say hello to him. But there is no larger demigod. There's it's large print, humble twin, Skywalker, Palpatine, same body. I can almost feel it. It's almost like right when this video uploads. Somebody like Angelina Jolie is going to be throwing her hands in the air. and That move she does where she rolls her eyes and turns away from the camera. The screen or truth. Really, it's interesting. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess once it gets dry enough outside, I'll be back to putting around outside. But... Um, why not? Well rounded video. I'm disappointed with the Godzilla trailer. There's been a few people to bring some of it to light. Like, I'm obviously just bitter about the last few years, I guess. 
it's gonna help if it does turn out to be Mecha Godzilla. King Kong keeps punching because that was just I was like, wait, what? If you don't mind, since film school graduate and like ninety percent of entertainment for the last fifty years has been well, what they should have done is like chopped up that preview a little bit better. What I would have done is had Kong beaten the hell out of whatever he normally beats the hell out of skull crawlers or the flying bat things. And then he's chained up on the boat yelling at Godzilla, like, come on, come on. And when they get on the boat together, Kong does that big old huge swinging right hook and it lands on Godzilla's jaw and just stops. Godzilla's looking at Kong and Kong's looking at Godzilla like, oh shit, that would have been a better trailer. And then to have it to where, like, Kong is trying to work out the difference between the Mecha Godzilla and the real one. And it doesn't take him long to realize that he can beat up the Mecha Godzilla, but the real one, they're keeping him away from for a reason, which is what's been going on out there. Whatever swine charade they've got going on, where a bunch of stupid tweakers are beating their chests, acting all tough. The second I grab my shoes and start walking towards it, those people fucking scatter like cockroaches with the kitchen light turned on. And, I don't know, I'm not a gremlin, I'm not a swine, so I don't know their mentality or why they retarded hyena me like this. Thumbing their nose at me, and then the second I go walking towards them, they scatter and feel safe and start thumbing their nose at me again. It's gross, I'm tired of it, but... If you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'm kind of just a leaf on the breeze. I graduated film school back in the day, but, like... There was something about society, something about the direction of who you had to be in order to succeed. And I decided to go back on my wizardry and study metaphysics and energy and all that mumbo jumbo. And in my absence, little did I know, is people were sprouting up left and right pretending to be me and using my persona to get away with as much as they could. And then celebrities picked up on fake versions of me and started using those assholes to do as much as they could while directing the rest of whoever was looking for me away from the real one. Why? Because I'm amazing. Got a magic wand. Felix bag of tricks. Godzilla, of course people won't. In your back pocket, but they're going about it in some really fucked up weird ways. I don't know. 13 minutes just to let you know I have Facebook and Instagram. Somebody somewhere is watching these. Um, yeah. Time to start wrecking people's worlds, I guess. Saturday, January 30th, 7.08 p.m. 2021.